Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as both great houses hold their ground for yet another fight. Of note in Restless Shore, a quick attack by Hexacon had the defense on their back feet for close to 25 minutes. KOTT news crews were able to get a reaction from one of the defenders. 25 minutes is a long time to hold one objective. Congratulations on your victory tonight. Would you like to take us through it? Uh, I believe they came in strong. They played really well. They took those points. They deserved them. Uh, but when it came down to the fort fight, we got our shit together and a lot of fun fighting them for 25 minutes. Shout out to Suezu. He was out there 1D everyone with no healer. Also, uh, Panda Uchiha. He's not as good as Brewster at Suezu, but he did all right. Returning to last night's breaking news, the concentrated spice wave escaping from a breached spice containment subsystem in first light can now be clearly seen as far away as Cutlass Keys. KOTT News will bring you more on this story as it develops. In local entertainment news, the Ebenscale Tourism Council will be hosting a concert in the park tonight. We spoke with one of the headliners during their dress rehearsal. Now, it'll just be me. I may have one or two people from the, the company might come in and sing one or two songs. But usually I like seeing a bunch of different stuff. I usually sing like uh, vocal covers. And I usually start off with a couple of funny songs, uh, break it down, and then we break it up. And I'll start going branching out from there. Mostly I sing a lot of uh, country and rock songs that I do vocal covers for. I do do a couple of sea shanties too. And what time can people come and see you? And where can they see you here in Ebenscale? Oh, see, right here at Ebenscale, it'll be at 6. So we're going to try to push it early because no, everyone's busy with the wars. No, everyone's out there. Thank LARP Co, you know, working out there. But it's going to be right here in Evanscale, right next to the auction house at the second trap house. You'll see, you'll literally see you coming in from the teleporter. You can't miss. KOTT News reminds you that online experiences are not rated by the ESRB. Turning to the weather, and it's going to be another beautiful morning all day long, well into early evening, when unusual coastal El Ninos will cause a swelling of invasions around the perimeter of the island. Three submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the Covenant forces of Hero assail the Syndicate forces of Hooded Outcast for control of the region of First Light. It is unknown at this time if Hero forces offered to postpone the event due to the spice explosion that rocked the crafting district late last night. This unexpected emergency will split the attention of Hooded Outcast leadership tonight as they struggle to contain both the breach and the beach. In the main event, the Marauders of Black Air Forces challenge the Syndicate forces of Black Wolves Company for their championship title and the right to rule over Everfall. Black Air Forces return for their second attempt at the title after losing to the champs two weeks ago. Have they grown stronger since then? For Black Wolves Company, a win tonight will move them beyond the forces of the Reckoning into sole possession of third place on the all-time Neverfall list. In the nightcap, the Syndicate forces of Washed Doritos rob the Marauders of dropouts for the financial capital of Winsward. Newcomer Wash Doritos take the best part of the seasoned corn chip and remove it, leaving only a bland, wet corn chip. For the forces of dropouts, they're more concerned about the blatant product placement. Everyone knows this is a LARPCO production. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.